In the fast-paced world of modern technology, traditional natural materials are being replaced by man-made synthetic materials. While some of these new materials boast eco-friendly biodegradability, others linger in the environment for centuries, wreaking havoc on our planet. Today, let's uncover the dual nature of these man-made materials, their benefits and their dark side. With a spotlight on the over-reliance that has led to pollution and environmental woes, we'll explore what actions are being taken to tackle these pressing concerns. Join us on a journey to unravel the mysteries behind our material choices. Natural materials are found in nature, from plants, from animals, or from the ground. Wood and leather are examples of natural materials. Natural products can be broken down into their constituent elements. After a short time, they are reabsorbed by the earth. In this way, they enrich the soil. Natural materials are therefore biodegradable. A product that can be broken down like this is called biodegradable. Biodegradable materials can be broken down by air, water, and bacteria to very small parts and absorbed by the earth. No harm is done to the environment during this process. Biodegradable products are environmentally friendly because they do not have a negative effect on the environment. Environmentally friendly substances and products do not have a negative effect on the environment. Biodegradable products are made from renewable sources. Non-biodegradable products are made from non-renewable fossil fuels, such as petroleum. Technology has brought progress in the field of materials. Some of these new materials are used in place of natural ones. This substitution helps conserve the natural materials. A substitute is something that gets used in place of something else. New materials are usually made from chemicals and are called human-made products. Many new and improved materials have replaced natural materials. These new materials have been processed from natural materials. A synthetic material, for example nylon, is one which is chemically processed. As we will see later, new or improved materials being developed can offer a wide range of benefits over traditional natural materials. Some new materials are environmentally friendly because they are biodegradable. This means that they decompose easily. These materials are made from natural and renewable resources, such as plant-based materials, and can be broken down by natural processes into non-toxic substances. This reduces the environmental impact of materials. Some new materials are however, non-biodegradable. Technological advances have led to the manufacturing of new materials leading to advances in product development, safety and sporting equipment. New materials help to make products better keep people safer, and improve sports gear. In sports, these new materials help athletes by protecting them from getting hurt. Synthetic materials can offer improved performance characteristics over natural materials. Human-made materials can be preferable to the natural products they replace because they are easy to use. They can last a long time. For example, synthetic fibers such as nylon and polyester are stronger and more durable than natural fibers like cotton or wool and are widely used in various applications. They can withstand extreme temperatures. They replace natural products. The development of human-made materials means that natural products do not need to be used. This may mean natural products will not be used up or overexploited. Synthetic materials are often cheaper to produce. They often need less maintenance and they are often stronger and more flexible, making products more reliable. Let us look at some examples. Leather soccer balls are expensive and you need to apply dub into them to make them waterproof. 
Dubbin is a special greasy substance used to waterproof leather. A plastic chair is easy to wipe down and keep clean. A wooden garden chair requires varnishing to protect it from the weather. Titanium tennis rackets are far lighter and stronger than wooden ones. Plastic bags, synthetic materials, plastic bottles, tin cans, reinforced paper, and cardboard are examples of things that make our lives easier by lengthening the lifespan of goods and by providing packaging for manufactured products. Technology has also enabled the creation of composite materials, which combine different materials to create new materials with improved properties. For example, fiber-reinforced plastic, FRP, is a composite material of fibers, such as glass or carbon, embedded in a plastic matrix. It is widely used in construction and automotive industries due to its strength, durability and resistance to corrosion and fire. Unfortunately, some of these materials are not environmentally friendly. We sometimes forget that some of these products do not decompose or break down naturally. The air, moisture, climate and soil cannot break them down naturally so that they dissolve into the surrounding ground. They are not biodegradable. The more non-biodegradable the material, the greater the threat to the environment. Non-biodegradable waste creates problems in a number of ways. It looks unsightly. Indirectly this discourages tourists. It pollutes air, soil, and groundwater. It creates a major health hazard for humans, particularly in areas where large amounts of waste are dumped and not cleaned up, for example, in informal settlements. It requires more landfills, which are becoming costly to establish and maintain. Natural products are biodegradable and are environmentally friendly because they are less damaging to the environment. A banana peel may take about two months to decompose, but plastics can take up to 450 years to decompose. Aluminum foil takes 200 to 500 years to break down. It does not biodegrade because bacteria and fungi do not use it as food. Plastic is a fairly recently developed material. It is a byproduct of the petrochemical industry and is cheap to manufacture. A plastic product that we often use is the plastic bag. Humans have become very dependent on plastic for packaging and other uses. We use plastic for almost everything because it's cheap and convenient, but this has led to a big problem with pollution because plastic doesn't break down easily. Unfortunately, plastic bags contribute directly to the litter problem in many countries. Many plastics are not biodegradable, and they contribute directly to pollution. There has been some effort put into producing biodegradable packaging to replace existing plastic products, which are hazardous to the environment. Human-made biodegradable packaging products contribute less pollution to the environment. This is because such products decay or break down naturally and they are able to form compost. They do not take up space in landfill sites and, they release very few toxic gases during the breakdown process. The South African company Green Home has been a pioneer in this field of packaging. They have developed packaging that biodegrades into water, carbon dioxide, and compost. Green Home specializes in biodegradable food packaging made from plant-based materials. Biodegradable plastics or packaging differs from traditional plastic in its composition, primarily in the materials used and the chemical structure. Biodegradable packaging is made from renewable resources such as plant-based sources, for example, corn starch, sugarcane, potato starch, or synthetic polymers designed to break down more easily. Normal plastic is primarily derived from non-renewable fossil fuels, such as petroleum or natural gas, through chemical processes. Normal plastics resist degradation, leading to their persistence in the environment for hundreds of years. 
Biodegradable packaging has potential environmental benefits by reducing plastic waste accumulation and decreasing long-term environmental impact. We have come to the end of our class today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was particularly interesting for me to learn about the different types of biodegradable products that are being produced. Please do not forget to like and subscribe so that we are able to continue offering these classes. Should you have any questions or suggestions, you can write these in the comment section or email us. Before we go, try answering this question before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. That is all, enjoy the rest of your day and keep well.